my friends, and welcome back. It is Saturday, January 27th, 2024. And the drum pull group, tis beer time. Remember flagship February? Is that still a thing? Maybe? I don't know. We can we can talk about it. We're gonna start though, because uh, I, I I enjoy flagship beers. Flagship beer, what's a flagship beer, Poke? Why are you asking me dumb questions? That's not a dumb question. Some people don't know. That beer that you know, it's like a core beer for the most part. That represents a brewery. It's their beer. It's the beer you think of first. Not a one-off, not a seasonal. It's there all the time, you know, again, for the most part. Um, for me, when I think fair weather, I think high grade. Now, you might think something different. Depends on your style. What style of beer you like. For me, this is their flagship beer. Your flagship beer says a lot about you. It needs to be consistent. It needs to be fantastic. It needs to be of the highest quality or the high grade. Uh, I love this beer. Uh... IPA brewed with barley, oats, and a fat bag of Simcoe Idaho 7 Citron Mosaic. Drink it up fresh. Juicy Dank Tropical 6.2. Why are we drinking? I, I don't know. We're do, trying to do that new thing here now. We buy beers from a brewery. We're just going to drink those beers until they're gone. We're going to go visit some breweries tomorrow. Really? Yes. We're heading up the Kitchener way. I'm not sure where we're going to end up, but uh, we're going to end up in places. Tabernak. Hey, Tabernak. Let's get some beers so we can go back and watch the game. I love Saturdays, man. Saturdays? Saturday is my Friday, and it's absolutely bananas how much hockey I watch. I love watching the hockey. And then tomorrow I got the foosballs and hockey. Baseball starting up soon. I love watching sports. I like watching people achieve stuff. Now, as a Leaf fan, I don't see much achieving. But I do watch championship games of pretty much any sport. Why? Because I love achievement. I love human achievement. And, and I think when I used to open up the newspaper, I'd always read the sports first, then I would read the comics, and then I would read the news. Because, you know, I always wanted to see things happening. I wanted to see positive things. I like to read entertainment. I like stuff, the positive things first. Then the negative stuff. Now, I don't even read it. Who reads the newspaper? Anyways, I just, yeah, it's all on the line now. It's on the line. Yeah. Cheers. Let's get into it. Flagship time. Well, Spear's been pretty consistent. Um... I think six years, six or seven years ago, I first had it whenever they opened up. Um, last time we talked about this beer was in October of 2022 in Jamaica. It's decidedly warmer there than it is here. You're talking, this is a beautiful beer, and it always hits the same. It's got that mango, peach, orange, pineapple, danky dank vibe. You know, the oats give it a smoother body. It's got a beautiful pithy bitterness on the back, lingering with that kind of weedy dankness. It's, it's a gorgeous friggin' beer. And I think it, you know, and a lot of times we, as people who talk about beer, I guess, we get a little, I mean, not people who talk about beer, people who drink beer and, and post about it, let's say, or even people who just drink beer. They get excited about the new thing, the shiny new thing. And we do, and I do too. I'm guilty as charged, my friends. I do not refute these charges. Um, we do, we get obsessed with the shiny new thing. And we forget the flagshipy beers, the flagshippiest of flagshippy beers. There's there's some out there that we'll talk about in February, I guess, because we're doing that now. Sure, whatever. Um, but yeah, and we forget about it. And you shouldn't, because it really does represent, you know, the, the, the heart of the brewery at the, when it started. This they uh, come out there, like, here, this is ours, this is us. Tip it back. And we did, and we loved it, and we're glad that Fairweather's here. I do have a couple more Fairweather beers to drink. We might do another thing tonight. I don't know. You know, once I sit down with the boys there, we're watching the game, and don't think that I have friends all of a sudden. I don't. It's the cats. But I consider them my friends. They know all my troubles. I know theirs because they live here, and I have to take care of them. Marv's had to go to the vet today. He's traumatized. Not really. Just give them extra treats. But, yeah, so I'm going to go watch the game with the boys, and then we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a high-grade time. All right, Polk loves you. Get out there, visit Fair Weather Brewing. Don't miss it. And if you're not from our area, then support whatever brewery you love because they need your monies. That's how businesses work, right? We exchange money for goods or services, and then we consume them or enjoy them, and then we say thank you. All right, cheers, my friends. Saturday night, let's get after it. Tabernak, eh? I don't know where that came from, by the way. Tabernak, cheers. Got a new blog post coming too. If you're excited for that in the next day or so, I gotta finish writing it. But uh, I'm gonna go drink some damn beers, man. Let's go.